talk about pawn shop finds. Here's a pawn shop guitar I just picked up today. I actually uh, played it for two hours at a gig today, so it's one of these uh, interesting ones. This is a Simon and a Patrick uh, Song a Smith a CW Burst, and it has a, a the three T uh, electronics on it as well. And uh, it's actually uh, apparently here on the top. There's a spruce pressure tested solid top on the sides. Uh, red wild cherry, rosewood um, on the of course on the bridge there, and uh, and the fretboard and whatnot. And uh, the finish is a semi uh, gloss. Uh, Varnish first finish, and it's this really beautiful guitar. I like the headstock of it. Uh, it's made by Godwin. It's the same ones that uh, put out the Seagull guitars or the Pro Arte uh, guitars, and they're handmade in Canada. And um, you know, for an economical guitar, uh, it's not you know obviously it's not not a Martin or a Taylor. Uh, but if you are uh, you know a musician that's playing a lot and uh, I think uh, in a lot of aspects, if you have a guitar that you know if it if it breaks and you're not out, you know, two thousand uh, dollars, that's, that's kind of nice, you know. And uh, I, I think the list on these, are, you know, it's probably like four hundred and thirty bucks, something like that. Um, it's a little, the neck is a little bit thinner, kind of closer to an electric guitar, uh, which is kind of nice when you're playing that long gigs. I, I played I played two hours straight, and um, and the action, you know, it feels really good. Um, it, it's it, using the, the bar chords and using the open chords sounds well. Uh, there's a built-in tuner um, as well, which is kind of nice. And you basically got treble, you got presence, you got bass, and you got middle, and you got volume. And I'll tell you this: here's one tip that if you, if you actually play live, uh, going through a PA system or whatnot, uh, a lot of times, uh, and I used to be guilty of this, of this as well. I used to play like a half volume. That way, I could crunch it up a little bit more. No, that's the sound person's job to do that. So you know, get it up there pretty close. You know, maybe like nine or nine nine or something like that. And uh, that way, the 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 the, the sound's going to sound as the best it can coming from the guitar. So, anyways, uh, I played it today through a PA system, and it sounded fantastic. Um, folks were rocking out and jamming. Uh, this is a, a really nice guitar. Um, one thing that's interesting to me, typically. Right here, there's a little bit of a, a block here. It's kind of blockish um, it's on its cutaway area. Normally, it, it's kind of like connected to the neck here, uh, on, the, on the back part of the neck. Uh, so that's interesting. I've never seen that before. And I thought, well, that's kind of weird. But you know, it doesn't really feel that bad. And yeah, so when you get high in the neck, it, 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 I feel it a little bit, but it's not, it's not anything to, to write home about. It's It'll be fine, and you're not going to be shredding on this guitar. This is this is a chord song, song guitar, finger picking guitar song. You know, it sounds really nice. And apparently, as time goes on, uh, it's going to get better and better the more you play it. And um, I always do like older guitars. One reason why I like uh, getting guitars out of a pawn shop is because the wood has just has aged. And so, uh, usually, if you get you know anything that's older, uh, the wood has actually aged. Now, of course, it has to be taken care of, and I know what to look for on the guitar, the action-wise and whatnot. When I was playing this one, I thought, this action is really good, and it has a nice sound to it. And I was looking for a guitar to, to take on some gigs that has uh, a piece of guitar that has some electronics. Um, I have another one, it's Ivarez that I play a lot, and I really like it. It's a, it's a full-size dreadnought, it has a really good sound to it, and it plays really well as uh, also. Um, but this is one that, you know, I could, I, this, if this was the only guitar I could take on tour with me, I could do everything from country to rock to blues, um, folk. Um, so I, I could, it's a good solid guitar, you know, with the right kind of uh, amp modeling, you know, I could play funk or whatever else with it as well. But definitely, you know, country and folk and rock, I could uh, play all day long. sound it really plays well so usually when I go play guitar in a, in a pawn shop I play through a couple of, um, uh, of you know, blues scales and whatnot that So if the 
action's already really good on it. I don't think I need to change anything with the thrust rod or do anything else to it. Um, I'm really quite happy with this guitar, and uh, the the tuning mechanisms are, are pretty 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 strong. The intonation is pretty spot on. It's, it's pretty pretty spot on. It's a nice guitar, I saw it, and uh, I'm going to add it with my, my gigging uh, arsenal. So when I go out and gig and uh, play various things and you know, open mics or whatever I do, this is one that you're probably going to see me play a lot of, and you're probably going to see a lot of videos that I'm going to write songs with this as well. So It's a good, it's a good sounding guitar, so I would recommend this if you're looking for uh, a little bit smaller than a full-size Dreadnought. Um, maybe if you have smaller hands as well, um, or you used to play an electric guitar, you want to go to acoustic, this would be a good, uh, good choice as well. The Seagull guitars are, the necks are really big, a little bit closer to, not quite the size of a classical guitar, but they're a lot bigger than that. And um, the Seagulls have that interesting little uh, head joint also up here as well. This has more of a traditional, um, you know, dreadnought type of, uh, of traditional guitar type of uh, uh, head stuff and whatnot. Really like it, really like it. I recommend this a whole lot. So thank you for uh, listening to this review. As you, um, if you like this type of content, please subscribe to my channel. I do these uh, pawn shop finds uh, occasionally when I find something in the pawn shop. And um, it's, a, it's, it's always fun to go and play a guitar. And I always am curious about the stories about these guitars as well. You know, how did they get to a pawn shop? You know, but it's mine now. It's always rock and roll and of course it does compete. Please subscribe to my channel because that would totally rock.